A man about to inherit $1 million vanishes without a trace. Tonight we're talking to the one person who police say may have had a motive to make him disappear. In an I-Team investigation, Coin Local 6 reporter Amy Frazier shows us why this local cold case is now heating up again. No clues. No crime scene. For seven long years, neighbors outside of Dallas, Oregon, have watched the place 56-year-old Glenn Penny called home, weather without him. The house has sat empty for so long, I just wonder if that's ever going to be solved. Penny's disappearance, a dead end at his house along Airly and Tartar Road. Why would a person just disappear when they're about to inherit $1 million? October 4th, 2004, investigators say Penny was planning to drive to Oakland, California to attend a hearing involving his late father's million dollar estate. He had his house locked up, he had his vehicle parked in the driveway, he had the paperwork that he needed for probate court, he had snacks in the vehicle, he had clothing in the vehicle, he was set to travel. And that's where everything just stops. Investigators say there were no signs of any kind of struggle here. It appears Glenn Penny vanished into thin air. A 53 square mile search using dogs, horses, four wheelers, and an airplane turned up nothing. We started looking at other connections to Glenn Penny. One of them, his brother Dale Penny, who's currently running for county commissioner in Coos County. Investigators say they learned there was some tension between the brothers. There has continued since the disappearance of Glenn Penny uh, to be some issues on with Dale Penny attempting to uh, get his share of the estate. At the time in 2004, Dale had an alibi. Um, it's, it's a plausible alibi, but we're not convinced that it's a solid alibi. But he's certainly very high on our list as a person of interest. We contacted Dale Penny at his home in Bandon. He says investigators have been questioning him since the very start. Well, he came down here and basically, you know, uh, accused me of killing my brother uh, and stuff, which, uh, you know, I know I had nothing to do with anything to do with his disappearance. Investigators are confident Glenn Penny did not just leave on his own. I would say it's 90.99% that he's met with foul play. The FBI and Oregon State Police are now assisting with the case. There are new billboards along I-5 and up to a $10,000 reward for information that helps detectives unravel the mystery. Just put yourself in the family's place. Detective Bernie Krager refuses to give up on what he believes will be justice for Glenn Penny. Well, I guess my question is, what person doesn't deserve it? They all do. Reporting for you in Polk County, Amy Frazier, Coin Local 6. Now, investigators say even the smallest tip in a case like this can make a very big difference. So if you can help, you're asked to call the Polk County Sheriff's Office. That number is right there for you, 503-831-5973. I hope you all had just a...